As South Africa prepares for another round of elections, it's crucial to reflect on past elections. So, in today's video, we'll take a closer look at how different political parties have performed in previous elections. And also ask you, what you believe the 2024 elections will result in. So, subscribe now. And join us, as we rewind the clock. And explore the country's rich electoral history. Let's start in 1994. This is when South Africa held its first democratic elections, marking a historic moment in the nation's history. This election saw the end of apartheid, and the birth of democracy. The African National Congress, led by the then party president, Nelson Mandela, emerged victorious. Winning the national results, by over 62%. This was followed by the National Party, the Inkatha Freedom Party, the Freedom Front, the Democratic Party, the Pan-Africanist Congress of Azania, and the African Christian Democratic Party, which all managed to garner enough votes, to be represented in the first democratically elected, National Assembly. Five years later, in 1999, South Africa held its second democratic national and provincial elections. The ANC maintained its dominance, and managed to improve its majority to over 66%. However, the political landscape was evolving. The Democratic Party improved its performance, and became the official opposition in the National Assembly, as well as the official opposition in a number of provincial legislatures. We also saw the emergence of new political parties. The 2004 national and provincial elections marked another crucial turning point in South Africa's political landscape. The ANC secured yet another victory, maintaining its position as the governing party. While the newly rebranded, the Democratic Alliance, the DA, retained its position as the official opposition. Followed by the IFP, the UDM, and several other parties. Fast forward to 2009. South Africa was once again at the polls. The ANC secured yet another victory. However, it was clear that the political landscape in the country was shifting. The DA gained momentum, becoming a formidable opposition force. However, this election marked the emergence of new players on the political stage, such as the Congress of the People, also known as COPE, which was a breakaway faction from the ANC. During the 2014 national and provincial elections, we witnessed yet another shift in dynamics. While the ANC retained its majority, its support was however declining. There was yet another new player in the South African political realm, the Economic Freedom Fighters, also known as the EFF, which made a significant debut in those elections, while the DA continued its growth, by retaining its position as the official opposition. In the most recent national and provincial elections in 2019, the ANC held on to power, but their margin decreased significantly as compared to previous elections. The DA, while maintaining its position in the National Assembly, also experienced a slight decline. However, the EFF continued to gain ground. Now that we've seen how different parties performed in the past, let's now turn our attention to the future. Since the 2024 national and provincial elections are just around the corner, what do you think will be the defining issues of this election? Will the ANC maintain its grip on power? Or will we see a significant shift in political dynamics? Share your predictions and views in the comments section below. As we wrap up today's video, we want to remind you that your voice matters, and that your vote counts. So, make sure you're registered to vote. And also make sure that you stay informed about the different political parties, and their stance on various issues. And most importantly, participate in the democratic process. Don't forget to like this video. And share it with your friends and family. Also make sure you subscribe to our channel, for more insightful content. Remember to also leave us a comment with your views. Your engagement matters. Thank you for watching. Please take time to check out our other videos on public administration under this channel. We cover various topics relating to public administration and public finance, as well as the management of the public sector, including the running of government and other global institutions affecting the public sector. You can also connect with us by following us on social media at Consult Carno. And continue the conversation by leaving us a comment below, or tagging us on social media. Using the hashtag ConsultCarno. Thank you again for watching.
Join us again next time, for another video. Until then, check out these other videos. Kano Consultants. For professional advice, you can trust.